Welcome back to Worry Cats Clan Generator. We're here with Sky Clan and Tumble Star and the rest of the group. So last time we saw Tumble Star's leader ceremony, and it was um not the best, if I do say so myself. I think you know the Star Clan cats were definitely kind of hesitant about giving Tumble Star here his nine lives that's for sure because he is a bloodthirsty cat so one of you guys commented saying what was different about the ceremony ayesha said the cats were nervous and wanting to speak up but were stopped some didn't give their names to tumble star either also the cat with the black ooze is from the dark forest you can exile cats and kill or send any cat to the dark forest at any time usually the cats are happy in lives and shining if they are traditionally good cats also in the end tumble star grinned at the power which he did i did notice that he he grinned thank you ayesha for your comments i appreciate all of your guys comments and feedback but yeah so it did seem like he was he was very keen over the keen over the eager and getting all of his power and nine lives and everything so we'll see where this leads us but i think we could generally have some good stories with this guy hopefully nothing too tragic but you know sometimes as we all know warrior cats can be rather tragic i mean reading the books has made me cry several times over so <laughs> anyway let's see what everybody's thinking today so tumble star encourages warriors to start fights on border patrols Okay, well, good start, my friend. Good start. Cypress Gaze woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Oh, gosh. Yeah, probably because he's being lectured by his clan leader out freaking starting fights on patrols. Olive Root watches over some newborn kids. Aww, that's cute. Rindleaf is eavesdropping on Frostkit. Interesting. Little Lily is feeling happy. Oh, good. Shimmer Sky is hoping Bog Blaze will tell them a new story. Oh, that's really sweet because Bog Blaze is our only elder of the clan. So it's really sweet that Shimmer Sky wants them to tell her a story. That's really cute. Sporefoot is chattering at the birds in the trees above. And yeah, I, my cat has done that before. It's really weird. Treepaw wonders how Oliver is doing. Oh, that's right. So Treepaw has aged up into a poor status now. His mentor is Sporefoot. So we'll have to take them training today. Bog Blaze wants to get to know Rindle Leaf better. That's cute. And then Frostkit whines about being hungry. Oh, bless. All right. So let's see where everybody is currently at the moment. So we've got little Frostkit in the nursery, nursery all on their own, which is really sad. Warriors are hanging out in the Warrior Cat Den. Poorfoot in the clearing of Shimmer Sky. We have Olive Roots just kind of on the edge of the Medicine Cat Den. And we've got Bog Blaze in the Elder's Den. And then we also have, of course, Tumble Star sitting on his rock high up above looking over everybody we need to get some medicine for the medicine cat den because we have literally nothing right now which is really bad at least there's nobody ill at the moment but we'll see if that lasts when we go out on patrols oh look cypress gaze has now jumped into the leader's den so is frost kit little lily is sunbathing soaking up the sun rays there and our leader is down at the bottom of his den hmm interesting so i wonder if our leader will end up here in the dark forest i've never done that before i i, I have absolutely no idea our leader's back in his den and we've also got our poor who is not far from him he's kind of watching him maybe they're sharing tongues at the moment okay let's go out on some patrols so we're going to take tree paw and then we are going to take Sporefoot. We need to go on a herb gathering expedition. And then we also need to go on. We also need to go on. What are my words? They're so difficult. Um, my brain isn't working. Why? Come on, brain. I need you to work right now. And we need to go hunting. That's the that's what I was trying to say. Gosh, really wasn't that difficult. But if we send three cats on a patrol, just because, you know, this guy is very uh, unpredictable. So we'll just take these two training for now. See how this goes. Sporefoot suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Treepaw. Sporefoot takes charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. They practice how to weave around an opponent, feeling more and more confident in their teamwork. The warrior praises how quickly Treepaw picks it up, and the apprentice comes back to camp fluffed up with pride. Yay! That's really good! Yay! Well done, Treepaw! He's a natural-born fighter, apparently. Alright, let's go on our medicine cat trip so da, 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 da. we've only got enough cats if you want three cats to go on a patrol then we only really have enough cats either two cats to go on a hunt 
or two to go on the medicine, uh, the herb collecting. So I'm gonna get Olive Root to go on their own. With New Leaf having one against the snows of Leaf Bear, it's far safer to go gather juniper needles from the trees. Even evergreens make sure to send out new leaves in New Leaf. That's almost a tongue twister. New leaves in New Leaf, new leaves in New Leaf. And Olive Root snips off the new, still soft needles. Whilst taking them home, Olive Root notices a freshly fallen branch, new, bright green oak leaves rustling in the gentle breeze. They spar a moment to gather some. Ah, okay, so juniper and oak leaves were gathered during this patrol. Brilliant, that's great news. So we'll check the medicine cat down once we're finished here. Rindleaf is a great hunter. You're a good hunter, excellent fighter, excellent fighter. Brilliant, okay, so little Lily and Rindleaf can go hunting then. See how this goes? Oh, that doesn't look good. The hunting patrol spots an eagle on the wing over a large bend in the river and watches as it swoops to dig its talons through the spine of an impressively big fish, but then it doesn't take its catch into the air. Perhaps it's too heavy. Oh gosh. Ooh, do we proceed or do we not? I don't know. The bad news is there is currently an eagle flying around, which is very close by. The good news is it hasn't taken its fish up into the air, but that doesn't mean that it might not swoop back down to get it, especially if it sees the cat's about to take it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna not proceed for now. And then I think next time I might kind of bring in just like a random chance. So like a 50-50 chance. So I'll get some dice or something and it will basically be up to the dice whether we proceed with situations like this. It'll be completely up to a 50-50% chance, completely up to fate. The dice will have the cat's lives in its hands. They move on ignoring the eagle to focus on their own hunt. Yeah, that's probably a good thing to do. Right, so now we've got Shimmer Sky, we have Cypress Gaze, and of course we have Tumble Star who are gonna go on a border patrol. Oh look, it's Bay Clan again. Oh, while walking along the border, your patrol notices a Bay Clan patrol renewing their scent marks up ahead. I am gonna proceed because it's Tumble Star and obviously he makes the rules, so we'll see what happens. Once the patrols cross paths, Shimmer Sky is quick to break the awkward atmosphere with a friendly greeting and easy conversation. Yes, Shimmer Sky. The two patrols eventually return to their task, feeling confident in their good relations with the opposite clan. Yay, very good. This kind of reminds me of Thunder Clan and Wind Clan. Um, didn't they have quite a good relationship at times in the books? Pretty sure they did. So that is everybody. Buddy. Brilliant, let's have a look at the medicine cat then then. So we've got one juniper and one oak leaf, which is good. It's better than having nothing, so that's good. I'm just gonna quickly look at people's relationships again. Okay, so Treeport and Tumble Star were sharing tongues earlier, but he doesn't really have an opinion of him. Little Lily, no surprise, it is very much liked by Tumble Star. Like, I'm pretty sure she is for most of the clan members. Oh look, Cypress Gaze is friends with a lot of people actually, that's pretty good. Olive Root, oh, likes and dislikes Cypress Gaze, all right. Really likes Tumble Star. Okay, okay, that's good I suppose. I mean, the leader and the medicine cat do have to have a good relationship. Rundu Leaf really likes Cypress Gaze. And we can, we can actually get relationships in this game as well. So I think I'm actually gonna turn Bob Blaze here into, let's have a look. So instead of being an elder, we're gonna switch Bob Blaze to a mediator. So she'll basically be able to improve cat's relationships or damage cat's relationships. Let's look at some of the relationships again and see if we can get her to mediate on some of these cats. So Sporefoot, for example, how about Sporefoot and Treepaw? Treepaw is Sporefoot's apprentice it would be good for them to have a better relationship so let's do that so we've got Tripo and then we've got Sporfoot so I'm gonna untick allow romantic because Tripo is just a poor and that would be really strange we can either sabotage or we can mediate I'm going to mediate in this occasion so we've got Tripo's feelings it feels more respectful comfortable and trustworthy and the same with Sporefoot. Comfort is increased, trust increased, respect increased, dislike decreased, and jealousy decreased. Good going, Bug Blaze. Well done. So I think she can only do it once a day, or once a moon, which is kind of like once a day in this game. But yeah, awesome. So that has made their relationship a bit better. That's good. Let's now skip this moon and go on to the next one. 
Let's hope nothing too crazy happens. Okay, that doesn't look too crazy so far. Surprising Rindle Leaf, the first thing that Frostpaw, oh Frostpaw, yay, asked to do. Once the meeting ends, is gather moss for every so everybody has fresh bedding. Oh, Frostpaw, you're so sweet. Okay, so Frostpaw has now turned into a paw as well, or aged into a paw, should I say? Right, let's see what happened relationship-wise. Shimmer Sky is telling a story to Frostkit. Shimmer Sky Muse, congratulations to Treepaw for a job well done. Shimmer Sky seems really nice. Tumblestar had Little Lily surprise them with something nice. Oh, really? Hmm. He is fond of Little Lily. Hmm. Treepaw realized that they were too harsh in their judgment of Cypress Gaze. So far, this is all positive. This is good. Cypress Gaze Muse, congratulations to Stumble to Tumble Star for a job well done. I wonder what he did. Rindle Leaf thinks Shimmer Sky has been acting stuck up and rude. Ooh, um, well, that's not good. Sporfoot is sparring with Shimmer Sky. Fogblaze realized that they were too harsh in their judgment of Shimmer Sky. There's a lot to do with Shimmer Sky in this moon. Olive Root shared an embarrassing story about Little Lily they were asked not to share. Oh no, that's not very nice. Little Lily challenged Tumble Star to spar with them. Okay, again, Little Lily and Tumble Star. Frostpaw stands tall when Treepaw walks by. <laughs> oh, all right. We've got little Frostpaw now. Look at you. Your eyes are beautiful. You look so playful. Okay, so she is a careful cat, and her apprentice is Rindle Leaf. Very cool. So then, why don't we get? Why don't we get? Let's get Bog Blaze. She should be able to do this. Rindle Leaf and Frostpaw. Let's mediate. We won't allow Romantic again. Mediate. Cool. Look at this. So, Platonic like increased, Comfort increased, Trust increased, and Dislike decreased. These two seem to have quite a good relationship. More so Rindle Leaf's feelings than Frostpaw's feelings, but hopefully it will continue to go well. Where is everybody now? So Everyone's kind of hanging out. The kits are... Kits? They're not kits anymore. The paws are down here in the, the apprentice's den. Let's do another patrol. We're going to add these two, and then we're going to add Rindle Leaf and Sporefoot, and they are all going to go out on a training expedition. Olive Root will probably go on a herb gathering expedition on his own, and then there'll be two cats for hunting and two cats for border patrol. So, oh, we'll see how that goes. Rindle Leaf suggests this might be a good chance for the cats to practice new fighting techniques, particularly with the apprentices here to learn from them. Sporefoot takes charge and coordinates exercises for the training patrol. Soon cats are practicing trips, tricks, and tumbles. Brilliant, that sounds like they did pretty good. Okay, let's take Olive Root on a herb gathering expedition. With the snows of Leaf Bear nearly vanished, New Leaf winning its place in the seasonal cycle Olive Root heads out to gather daisy leaves. Frustratingly, some herbivore has come through and feasted on the daisies Olive Root targets. Oh no. The plants will recover, but these half chewed on leaves are useless to Sky Clan. Oh dear. Oh, that actually reminds me saying Sky Clan. When I chose this clan name, I completely forgot that there was actually a clan called Sky Clan, I think, in the books already. Yeah, my bad. I didn't realize that until I was creating, you know, the little clan logo that they all have. I was creating it for this and I uh, googled Sky Clan to kind of get, I don't know, just some inspiration on what to do. Uh, and then it became apparent that there might, there was actually already a, uh, a Sky Clan in the books. So I was like, oh, my bad. Whoops. I wasn't copying. I just kind of forgot. <laughs> This is a different Sky Clan, okay? It's completely different universes. I don't think Tumble Star would want to go on a hunting patrol. Or would he? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we should take him hunting. Because I want I just want to see if Oh actually, look! Maybe he would want to go on a hunting patrol. Because little Lily's going on a hunting patrol. Alright, okay. So we've got Tumble Star and Little Lily. Let's see what happens. A rabbit bursts out from cover, startled by the patrol. Oh, I have two rabbits. I have Coco and Jasper. The patrol rallies almost instantly and manages to corner and catch the rabbit. Oh, rest in peace. Okay, at least they got some food for the clan, that's good. And then we have our border patrol. So we've got Shimmer Sky and Cypress Gaze, and they are going to go on a border patrol. <gasps> oh no, what's happened? Shimmer Sky finds a wounded cat near the Thunderpath. Oh, 
The patrol approaches the injured cat and sees signs of life. Alarmed, they gently pick up the cat and take them back to camp to be treated by the medicine cat. The grateful cat decides to join the clan. <gasps> Chico Whisker has joined the clan. Oh my gosh. Let's find this cat. Oh, look at you. Chico Whisker. Oh, a monster must have got him. Oh, so he is a young adult male who is 32 moons old. He's a confident warrior a great, and a great speaker. He was formerly a kitty pet and he's competent. Oh, look at you, buddy. Chico Whisker joined the clan by choice after living life with two legs as a kitty pet. Okay. Oh, no. Broken bone. Has been hurt for one moon. They can't work with this condition. Blood loss has been hurt for a moon. I really hope that he survives. We do have more herbs now. So we've got juniper, oak leaves, tansy, and ragwort. So hopefully that's going to help poor little Chico Whisker to get better. I really hope so. Oliver gathered ragwort and tansy this moon. Very nice. That's cool. Yay. The clan is expanding. This is great. I'm going to do the moon again. Oh, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I really, really don't want Chico Whisker to, to pass away, but we have to do it. Okay. Tree Paul was climbing a tree when they fell. Luckily, they were only bruised by the incident. Oh my goodness, Tree Paul, please be more careful. You're only tiny. Chico Whisker is still with us. That is fantastic news. Shimmer Sky ignores Tree Paul. Well, that's rude. Tumble Star basks in the sun with Frostpaw. That's actually quite cute. Treeport is complaining that Chica Whisker never does anything helpful. He has a broken bone and he has blood loss. He can't do anything currently at the minute. Cypress Gaze thinks the prey Sporefoot is biting into on the other side of camp looks delicious. Rindley thanks Sporefoot for covering for them during a patrol earlier. Nice. Rindley and Sporefoot. Oh, they're the two. They're the two mentors as well. Hmm. Maybe they can have a uh, mentor conversations. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Take from that what you will. <laughs> Rindleaf is sharing the latest gossip they heard over the border with Chica Whisker. That's it's good that they're speaking to Chica Whisker that he's being accepted into the clan appropriately. Sporefoot saw Shimmer Sky the other day, but didn't get a chance to meow hello. Fogblaze is sharing prey with Cypress Gaze. That's cute. Otterroot bristles after being scolded by Frostpaw. Frostpaw scolded Otterroot? Gosh, I wonder why. I wonder if that means Frostpaw might be interested in training as a medicine cat. Perhaps Otterroot was treating Chico Whisker and Frostpaw was watching intently nearby, uh, maybe from the edge of the den, and he, f uh, maybe Frostpaw thought, you know, Otterroot should, should have done something differently like maybe she thought he he should have uh wrapped an injury differently or better or given a different herb who knows but that that could be a thing frostpaw could train as a frostpaw could train as a medicine cat because we do need plenty of medicine cats for the amount of cats you can get in this game in your clan so that's that's quite a hmm i like that idea let me know what you think Olivefruit picked out the best piece of prey to share with Tumblestar. Very nice. Little Lily overheard a joke from Shimmer Sky they didn't get. That's usually me. I don't understand a lot of jokes, jokes people say. And everyone's laughing. I'm just like, ha 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> Frostpaw had a disagreement with Treeport about something or other. Frostpaw, Sporefoot, and Tumblestar took a sun bath and had a little small talk. Okay. Is it me or does Tumblestar actually seem quite friendly? Chico Whisker has been spending time with Tree Paw lately. Oh, that's nice. All right, cool. Wow, that actually turned out quite well. I'm glad. The leader and the deputy are currently sharing tongues. Who knows what about? So we had Cypress. No, that is the wrong name. We had Chica Whisker join the clan. He was a former kitty pet who had been hit by a monster and was saved by the clan, thankfully. We had Frostpaw age up into a paw, so now we have tree paw and frost paw. Frost paw may possibly want to train as a medicine cat. We shall see. Again, let me know what you guys think of that. We have a little lily and tumble star kind of uh, hanging out and sharing tongues and whatnot. They seem quite fond. Actually, let's quickly look at little lily's relationship. Oh, okay. Well, um, I guess it's uh, more of a one-sided thing then. You never know. <laughs> 
and we have blog blog blaze and we have bog blaze as our mediator now so she will be able to either mediate or sabotage Kat's relationship so we'll see what we can do with that but yeah if you guys liked what you saw leave a like and subscribe and I will see all of you awesome people next time see you then guys